Who is that? Now, everybody, um, you can just say it all at once. Snoopy. It is Snoopy. That's Snoopy. Right. It is Snoopy. So what's really cool about that, so you guys be unmuted right now. Um, and if you're muted, that means you need to unmute yourself. Now, this boy, Luca Ionello, he made a Snoopy from what I gave him a few weeks ago. And then he literally put Woodstock on the same picture and gave me those coordinates. Now, Cam, did you just raise your hand, buddy? Cam, you raised your hand. Oh, wait. Because you, 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 you told us to unraise hands. Oh, okay. Great, great, great. So now I wanted to show you some other things that he did. And I'm going to mute everybody ah! right now because people are being a little bit loud. And so now everybody's muted. And if you want to, uh, if you want to ask a question, please raise your hand, okay? So Luca uh, did a Superman, and he also did Sonic the Hedgehog, which is so, so cool. And he made it all out of math points, which I really love. He also did Batman and Super Mario. And remember, two weeks ago, I gave you guys the coordinates to do Super Mario. So I hope you try it. I really do. I hope you try it sometime this summer or in a few weeks. Now, I want to show you a few other things. This was Allison's dilation of a K to a factor of three, a scale factor of three. And it blew up way, way up into a big, big K. Kennedy did the same thing, but he blew it up to a factor of two and a factor of three. And then Allison also blew up her chess piece to a factor of two. So I'm really, really proud of you, Allison, for doing that. And I just want to tell everybody what I learned. And Elliot, you raised your hand. Go for it, buddy. Um, I forgot. Okay, when you remember, you can ask me again. And William, you raised your hand too. Yeah, we were just trying to find it. You're trying to, oh, you're trying to find the coordinates? We were trying to find the raise your hand button. Oh, so did you find the three? Oh, and you found it, of course. So you, you found it because it's you, showing you up. You now know, fantastic. I am so excited. That is great. Um, okay, guys, I want to show you a little bit more. This little, this boy named uh, Sahaj, he made a robot, and then he gave the coordinates for his robot. Cole did the same thing. I really love that robot and the points are right here. And I'm gonna put this on my website this week so you guys could create those if you like. Now, the last one I wanna show you is Alice. Alice, hi Alice, how you doing? So Alice, I unmuted you. Alice, tell us how you made this A and then blew it up to a scale factor of two. Tell us how you did it. I, I doubled the, each number. Wow. I mean, Alice, it is such a beautiful A. It's a really, really cool A. And I, I love the design. I really love the design, especially the triangle in the middle of your A. Very, very proud of you. Okay, let's get started. Who would like to travel with Mr. Kramer around the world for spring break. What we are gonna do right now, everybody raise their hand just like this if you wanna travel with Mr. Kramer around the world. And I'm gonna unmute everybody right now. And Elliot, you raised your hand again, buddy. Go for it. Oh, I forgot again. 
<laughs> okay, I can't wait till yes, you remember, please. Elliot. Elliot, 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 I have an idea. Where do you want to travel? I have an idea, <laughs> Elliot. Carly. What I want you to do next time, Elliot, is when you have a question, write it down, just a little bit of a, of a note to yourself. And that way, when I call on you, instead of saying, I forgot, you can look down at your notes and help to remember what you asked. So that's what I think you should do. All right, let's get started. We're going to go on a journey. Now, and I want everybody to be nice and quiet right now. I want everybody to become stealthy so we could hear a pin drop. Now, there is a parent speaking in the background. So if you know who you are, mute yourself. That way, we don't have to hear that noise. Okay, and we can leave everybody's uh, voice on. Here we go. Mr. Kramer was going to travel. Okay, I'm going to mute all because that person cannot mute themselves, and that's okay. Now, Mr. Kramer was supposed to be in Israel right now. In fact, if it were not, uh, you know, we were not home from school and the COVID thing and all that, I would be in Israel. But you guys would be in London, Paris, China, Washington, D.C., Disney World, Florida, California, British Virgin Islands, Spain, Wyoming, um, uh, Jamaica, Ontario, Canada, Turks and Caicos, Key West, Florida, Aspen, Colorado, Martha's Vineyard, Arizona, Maine, France, Ireland, Hawaii. Oh my God. Oh, the places will go. Would, and Cole, you're raising your hand, but I'd like you to raise it electronically, and I'm going to unmute you right now. Go for it. Um, I was supposed to go to Florida. You were supposed to go to Florida. Now, I want everybody to follow me as we travel to Florida together. Are you guys ready? We're going to go to Florida together, and I have to find my really cool map and maybe I can find it right here. Now, does everybody see Florida in the lower part of my map here? Mm -hmm. Do you guys all see that? Isn't that cool? Now, I want everybody to see that there are these grid lines on the map. And the grid lines go horizontal. Everybody go like this, horizontal. And those are called latitude. Can everybody say latitude? Everybody say latitude. latitude. Say latitude. Latitude. Now, I want everybody to go lat, lat. Lat, lat. Lat, lat. Lat, lat. Now, if you say lat, lat, if I look at Florida, do you remember where Cole said that he was traveling? Do you remember where Cole said that he was traveling? Yeah. Cole said that he was going to Florida. You guys see it? Right there? Florida. What degree what is of latitude is Florida? So everybody take a journey with me. Follow along the line. Uh-oh, here we go. Who can tell me what degrees is Florida? Everybody say it. On three, Bernie. one, two, three. Bernie. So everybody Bernie. say it like this. Are you ready? 30 degrees north. Everybody say that. 30, 30 degrees, degrees north. north. So everybody go like this. Put your hand on the equator and then go up. 30 degrees, and that is where Florida is. But wait a minute, there's also a vertical line. Everybody go like this and go vertical. Everybody go like this and go vertical. Now, this is called longitude. Everybody say longitude. 
And uh, longitude yeah. comes from long, long yeah. longitude. Miami, Florida Miami. is right on yeah. what degree longitude? Everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. Yeah. So now, are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? I am going to tell you that Florida is pretty much 30 degrees north. That's the horizontal line and 80 degrees west. It sounds like a coordinate point, doesn't it? It just sounds like a coordinate point. So let's look at the world. So the world is split up into these wonderful, wonderful lines. Who can tell me, raise your hand electronically, if you can tell me what this line is right here, the line that goes horizontally through the center of our planet. And I am gonna call on Elliot, go. And Elliot, I'm gonna to have to let you uh, go for it, Elliot. The equator. Whoa, everybody say, awesome job, Elliot. It is the equator. Elliot, you are the man. That's awesome. Cam, what were you going to say? I'm sure who is at this say equator. What were you going to say, Cam? I was going to say it was the equator, too. Oh, my gosh. So, everybody, watch what Mr. Kramer is going to do right now. I'm going to draw a big red line right at zero degrees latitude. Everybody go like that. Zero degrees latitude. Zero degrees latitude. And now, Allison, you had your hand up too. Go for it. I was going to say what Elliot said. Oh, you are awesome. Awesome. So everybody go zero degrees. Now watch this. We're going to take a journey because I want to go where Cole wants to go. You ready? Up, 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 up. Guess what we have now? 20 degrees north. Everybody do that. 20 degrees north. But wait a minute. Florida, we know, is 30 degrees north. So I'm going to go halfway in between 40 degrees north and 20 degrees north. And I'm going to write. 30 degrees north. Ready? 30 degrees north. And that's where Florida is. But remember, oops, remember what we learned when we did that. We learned that Florida is on the 80th longitude. Everybody say that. The 80 longitude. So where is 80 west? Where can you think we can find 80 west? I'm looking at 100 right here. west, here. and I'm looking at 60 west. Who can tell me how to get to 80 west? And I'm going to unmute Allison. Go. Go ahead, Allison. It is 160 degrees. Ooh, 160 is all the way out here in the, yes, so it's in between 160, and that's 80 degrees longitude, and everybody look at that beautiful line. That's 80 degrees west, and guess where we are right now, guys? Guess where that intersection is? This is where Cole wants to go. Cole wants what? To go to where? Florida. That's right. So we're going to take Cole with us to Florida. 
And now let's think of where else we could go. So I want to think where else we could go right now. Now, raise your hand if you want to go to someplace different. Raise your hand. And William, I'm going to pick you. Go ahead, William. Uh, Miami, that's in Florida. Oh, and we just went there with Cole. So you know that if you want to go to Florida, buddy, you're going to go to 30 degrees north and 80 degrees west. And that is going to take you to Miami. So William, you take me with you. I'm going with you. Okay, Raymond, tell me where you want to go, Raymond. The Beijing, China. Oh my God, guess what? One of my favorite places on the planet. And would you like to see Beijing, everybody? Where Look at Beijing? this, guys. Beijing, China is right here. And let's find, let's find the, oh wait, allow participants to, I want that. Okay, get it, get it. So everybody look at this. This Beijing is 40 north. Everybody go like this. 40 degrees north and the longitude, and it's easier if I go like this, is between 105 east and 120 east, which is 116 east. So Raymond, I loved going to Beijing with you. Now I wanna pick Charlotte. Go Charlotte. Um, I was gonna go to New Jersey. Well, guess what? I love New Jersey. So Mr. Kramer grew up in New York, very close to New Jersey. And let's go see if we could find New Jersey. Now, Elliot, what did you want to say, buddy? My cousins live in New Jersey. Who close to New Jersey? Well, you know what? Your cousins are very lucky. New Jersey is a beautiful, beautiful place. And Charlotte, Charlotte, do you see New Jersey right here that I circled? Yeah. Do you see that? So everybody, New Jersey is this state that Mr. Kramer just colored in blue. And who can help me find the coordinates for New Jersey? So I'm gonna lower everybody's hand and I want everybody to now raise your hand if you want to share. So you have to first find the latitude. How far north is New Jersey? Who thinks they see it? And Mr. Kramer is looking right on this line and I'm going all the way down here and look where I end up. Don't say it out loud yet. And then, I have to go to my longitude. It goes there. But wait a minute. New Jersey is between two longitude points. So New Jersey is between 70 west and 80 west. So who can tell me, raise your hand, Charlotte, can you tell me New Jersey right now? What is the location of New Jersey? Um, I was going to raise my hand and I don't actually really get it. Well, follow me. We're going to do the, we're going to do the latitude first. Take a journey with me. What is our degrees north? 40. Yep. 40 degrees north. Does everybody see that? If anybody does not see that New Jersey is on 40 degrees north, please raise your hand electronically so I can help you find it. Now, at, now Charlotte, can you tell me the longitude, the east-west? New Jersey is between 70 and 80 west. 
What's between 70 and 80, Charlotte? Mm. If anybody else knows what's between 70 and 80, please raise your hand electronically. Allison, raise your hand electronically, okay? So I can see it right on my screen. Charlotte, do you know? No. Okay, I'm gonna call on Allison. Go for it, Allison. And you're gonna have to unmute yourself. Go ahead, Allison. 75. Oh, does everybody see that 75 degrees west is right in between 70 and 80? And guess what? Charlotte, this is your destination. Charlotte wants to go to 40 degrees north and 75 degrees west. Now, I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. So when Mr. Kramer was learning about how GPS works, now GPS is called Global Positioning System. And the way it works is that they send satellites into the sky. Now, Valerie, right now, Valerie, your background is in outer space. Everybody should be able to see Valerie's background in outer space. Now, what I want to tell you about that is that there are 26 satellites floating around the Earth, actually 27, and 24 of them are working to find your location. So for instance, let's say that you are here in the Boston area, that you're right here in Boston. Cam, you raised your hand. Go for it, buddy. Budapest. Oh, you want to go to Budapest? That is a really cool place. I want to go to two places. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Budapest and um. Uh, I don't know. Oh, um, uh, Branson, Missouri. All right, I'm gonna write Budapest right Budapest there, and I want everybody to watch this. So the satellites are what? up in the sky, and they're twelve thousand miles. 12,000 miles in the sky, in outer space. Now, when we fly in an airplane, we are only about five or six miles off the surface of the Earth. But the satellites are 12,000 miles away, and they send a signal. So there might be a satellite uh, right over here, there might be a satellite right over here, and there might be a third satellite right over here. The three satellites talk to each other. And what they do, Cam, is they have a signal that is telling them that you are in Budapest, somewhere in the triangle between the three satellites. And you can actually pull it up on your cell phone and you can find out where you are. And it's all because of satellites. So it's a really cool thing to think of satellites. Now, I want everybody now to look at the screen and remember the equator are lines of what? The equator are lines of, everybody say it, latitude. Latitude. Now, what if I go, and I want to ask you guys, what if I go from the equator up? Is this north or south? Who can tell me what is going from the equator up? You can say it out loud. Say it out loud. 
It is north. And what happens if I go from the equator down? From the equator down. What's that for? Say it out loud. It is south. Now, are you ready? Take a journey with me. Say zero degrees latitude is the equator. Zero degrees latitude is the equator. And let's go to 10 degrees north. 20 degrees north. 30 degrees north. Now, everybody do this with me. I'm going to ask everybody to do it at the same time. Are you ready? Everybody take a journey with me. Go. Zero degrees equator. 10 degrees north. 20 degrees north. 30 degrees north. 40 degrees north. 50 degrees north. 60 degrees north. 70 degrees north. 80 degrees north. What happens when we hit 90 degrees, everybody? North. Guys, we are on the North Pole. Are you all really cold? Are you shivering? Because we're in the North Pole. It's very, very cold. Get me back to the equator. Are you ready? 80 north. 70 north. 60 north. 40 north. 30 north. 30 north. 20 north. 10 north. Zero equator. Now, Take me south. Go. 10 degrees south. 20 degrees south. 30 degrees south. 40 degrees south. 50 degrees south. 60 degrees south. 70 degrees south. 80 degrees south. 90 degrees south. What am I? Bird. 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 I am in the South Pole. It's very cold. It's very cold. Let's get back to the equator. Quickly. 80 South. 70 South. 60 South. 50 South. 40 South. 30 South. 20 South. 10 South. Zero. Everybody take a rest. That was a lot of traveling. Now, are you guys ready? Now we're going to talk about longitude. Remember, longitude are these lines that go vertical. Everybody take a little journey with Mr. Kramer. Are you ready? Yes. The longitude in the middle of the planet is called the prime meridian. I say Prime meridian. Prime meridian. And I'm going to just mute everybody for just a second. The prime meridian goes right through England. It goes right through London, well, close to London, England, and it cuts the earth in half. Everything to the right is called east. Everything to the left is called west. Everybody go like this. Prime meridian. Everything to the right is east. Everything to the left is west. And that gives us the eastern and the western hemispheres. And so it's a lot of fun to do that. But when you're done with this class, I want everybody to go to their kitchen and I want you to take an orange and I want you to peel the orange really carefully. And when you peel the orange, you are going to see that it looks like the planet Earth. In fact, an orange has a North Pole, a North Pole and a what? A 
pole. South pole. That's right. And then, do you guys see the lines of longitude? Everybody say longitude. Longitude. Everybody say longitude. Longitude. Everybody say longitude. 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 And so an orange is just like the longitude lines in the, on the earth. Now, are you guys ready for a question? I want everybody to raise their hand if they know the answer. Which picture shows lines of longitude? Remember, remember the orange, remember the orange lines of longitude. B. And which one on three? One, two, three, say it out loud. B. Oh my God, guys, you were right. The B is lines of longitude. Now, give me the next one. Which picture, picture shows the Western Hemisphere from the prime meridian? And I'm just going to show you a little picture. Logic. A little picture. The prime meridian is this vertical line. And if we go west, mm. we are in North America. So which picture represents the Western Hemisphere? On three, one, two, three, go. Say it out loud. Yeah. If you said C, then you are right. C is the Western Hemisphere. Now, what happens, what happens next? The southern hemisphere. I want to know the southern hemisphere. Is it A, B, C, or D? Remember, the southern hemisphere is below the equator. And so who thinks they know it? On three, one, two, three, go. D. 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 If you said D, D. you got it. You guys are great navigators. You guys are great navigators. Now, I have a special question for you. And my question for you is this. What is the name of the continent at the very South Pole, the Southern Hemisphere? What is that continent called? It's also a country. What is that continent and country call. Who can raise their hand to let me know what country this is? And it's a really fun one, but I want to tell you, I've never been there. Bradley, I am choosing you if I can just find you to unmute. Go for it, Bradley. Um, in Antarctica. Oh my gosh, everybody. Ant Arctica, and maybe it's not Arctica. I don't think I spelled it right, but in any event, Antarctica is the country at the very bottom of the planet Earth. So, Bradley, that was awesome. I'm really proud of you. That was really awesome. Now, I am now going to go to my last question here, which shows the distance north or south of the equator? Which one shows the distance north or south of the equator? Everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. A. 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 And if you said A, you really know your stuff. Those are latitude, latitude lines. Now, everybody right now, I want you to go to, and I'm going to tell you what page to go to in your packet. And I'm going to find a really good page for you right here. Now, that's not the one I wanted. Okay. Everybody right now, go to page seven. 
Everybody open page seven. If you, have, if you don't have page seven, if you don't have page seven, then don't worry about it. But if you do, go to page seven. Oh, by the way, Cam, I'm, I'm going to mute everybody and ask you a question. So, Cam, you are eating an apple right now. Can you show everybody the apple? It's a green apple. A yeah. green apple. So can you hold the north and south pole of the apple? Very, very good. So can you take a bite out of North America right now? Not really. <laughs> so that was a good try. Thank you very much, Cam. I appreciate that. Now, everybody on page seven. Now, I'm going to ask you guys to tell me what this line is right now. I'm going to make a big red line right down the middle of the earth. And I want to ask you to send me a chat or raise your hand if you can tell me which one of these answers goes with that red line. Remember, latitude, longitude, and I want you to tell me if you know which one of these answers. Is it 90 degrees north, 45 degrees north, zero degrees latitude? Is it 180 degrees west? Is it zero degrees longitude? Who thinks that they can tell me what that vertical line is. And I'm looking for you guys to raise your hand or send me a chat as to what this vertical line is right here. Does anybody know? First of all, Elliot, tell us what you think. Um, zero degrees longitude. Oh my God. Now, do you know that Raymond also sent me a text or uh, a chat and he said zero degrees longitude. Everybody go like this. Longitude prime meridian. Everybody say it. Longitude prime meridian is zero degrees longitude. Now, if the prime meridian is zero degrees longitude, can you tell me what the line is that I'm going to make right now? And I want everybody to raise your hand if you know which one is this. Remember, the prime meridian was zero degrees longitude. What do you think that red line is? And I have a lot of people raising their hands. So we're all going to say it together. On three, one, two, three, go. Oh, if you guys said zero degrees latitude, you are absolutely right. And it's also known as the equator. The equator. So zero degrees Why of latitude is the equator. Now, I have a difficult question for you. Are you ready? This is going to be a difficult question. And now I want you to think about it. I'm now putting my latitude line north of the equator. Who can tell me which one of these is the red line. Now remember, it's north of the equator, so you probably want to look at degrees north. Remember that the North Pole is 90 degrees north. So what do you think this line is right there? So I have Allison. Go, Allison. 45. But where? Is it 45 east, west, south, or north? 
45 degrees what? Elliot, help her out. Elliot, help her out. Go ahead. 45 degrees. Um, this starts with the end. If you said north, and Raymond and Cole, is it north? Yeah! I just muted everybody because somebody is yelling. Now, I know you're excited, and I would be excited to go to 45 degrees north, too. But guess what? Mr. Kramer knows that it's a little colder at 45 degrees north. So now we're gonna do another challenge. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna take you south of the equator. I'm gonna take you all the way south of Australia, almost to the south of South America, at the southern part of Chile and Argentina. Who can tell me the degree measurement right there. On three. One, two, three, go. Oh, my God. Guys, unbelievable. I'm so proud of you. Oh, by the way, bonus question. What degree measurement is the South Pole at the green dot that I just made? Who can tell me? Oh, wow. Awesome. Guys, you are amazing. Now, are you ready for the big challenges? I'm now going to give you the biggest challenge yet. So don't be scared. But here it comes. The biggest challenge yet is Mr. Kramer is going to go. Can I un... And give you a line of longitude from the North Pole to the South Pole. And I want to remind you of a few things. Remember how this line right here was zero degrees longitude? And I'm also going to tell you that this line way out here is 180 degrees east. So what is the green line? Halfway between the prime meridian zero degree longitude and 180 degrees east. Raise your hand if you know the halfway point. And I'm going to go with Charlotte. Go Charlotte. It's 90. 90 degrees what? North, south, east, or west? East. Oh my God, Charlotte, you rock. 90 degrees east is right. Guys, give her a round of applause. Okay, now I'm going to give you another one. The, this green line now. Who can tell me this green line all the way to the west? Who can tell me about this green line all the way to the west? Raise your hand if you know it. It's a really fun one. Ellie, um, Ellie and I'm going to go with you, buddy. Um, 180 degrees um, north. Ooh. 180 degrees north doesn't actually exist because the highest you can go to the North Pole is 90 degrees north. I'm going to try Raymond. Go, Raymond. So it, it's definitely 80 degrees. How about you, Stella? Do you know what it is? Stella, do you know which one it is? How about you, Allison? What a question. Oh, she got it. Awesome. 180 yeah, degrees west. That was amazing. Now, guys, you can have a lot of fun finding your favorite places. For instance, I want you guys to look at this map right here. 
And what I did is I gave you a map and you guys have a blank one in your packet. You have a blank one in your packet. And you can go to places like Washington, D.C. and find them with your parents. It's a lot of fun to do. So you could go 38 North, which is between 35 and 40. So it's on this line right there. And then you could go to 77 West. And guess what, guys? Do you see Washington, D.C. right at the intersection? So I want you guys to travel to your favorite, favorite places. Now, I'm going to ask you a few more, a few more questions, okay? So we're going to go to the world map right now, and I'm going to make a dot at the world map. And I'm gonna make my dot somewhere in Africa. I'm gonna make it somewhere in Africa. But let's see, why don't I make it right about here? Let's see. Oh, I like this one. Make it at the mouse tomorrow. Now that one right there, who can tell me the degree north? Everybody raise their hand if you know the degree north that is that point in Africa. Everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. 20. 20. 20. 20. I have to say 20, 20 degrees 20. north. north. Now, north. what about north. the longitude? What about the longitude? Everybody think about this. And remember, look at the line. It's on the prime meridian. So it is what degree on three? One, two, three, go. Zero. Zero, Zero degrees. Oh, it's not oh. east or west and that is a very very special place in africa now the last thing i want to show you was this why is it special everybody's parents sent me a note and they said mr kramer if we were not required to stay home we were going to go on vacation to all of these places around the world and I gave you the latitude, longitude, coordinates of each place. Now look at the place where Mr. Kramer was going to be, in Israel. So I was going to be, if you look at, the, at this place right here, how many of you can see the latitude where Mr. Kramer was going to be. Who can send me a, a raised hand to tell me that value right there? So the value right at Israel, and look at where it goes, between 20 and 40. So what number is between 20 and 40? On three, one, two, three, go. Say it out loud. North. 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 And you said 30 degrees north. north. Almost found Israel. Almost found Israel. Now we have to find its longitude. And everybody, let's go. Let's go. What's the longitude? Come on, everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. 40 degrees. 40 degrees. East or west. Yeah. Guess what? You now just sent me to Israel, and I really, really appreciate it. So you guys can take a trip. Now, I know that some of you are going to Disney World. Uh, one of you was going to Key West, Florida. I think one of you is going to Ireland. And I want you to put dots on the planet 
and send it to me and say, Mr. Kramer, these are the places that I want to go. Yes, Charlotte, go for it, kid. Um, I have something that I did, um, the other homework. Oh, you know what? If you have your mom or dad email it to me, I'm gonna put it on my website this weekend and we can have a lot of fun looking and I call it my Kramer Math Museum. So if you wanna be part of the Kramer Math Museum, send me all your work like Alice did and Allison did and I think Elliot sent me and Raymond sent me some stuff. Um, maybe Jack did, Valerie, I'd love to see your work, Isabella and Bo, uh, Bradley, William, I'd love to see yours. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is this, guys. This is a color map of the world, and it's a pretty good map. It's a little hard to see the uh, degrees of east, north, and south, and west, but let's say that you're interested in going to China, you can circle it on the map and then find that you are at 30 degrees north, which is right here. And then you can look at about 90 to 100 degrees east. And this is a really, really fun thing to do. For instance, I was in Colombia two months ago, and Colombia is right around zero degrees latitude and 75 degrees west. So Colombia is very, very hot. So I want you guys to have a lot of fun. Raise your hand if you can tell me where you're gonna find on the uh, on the planet. What location are you going to find on the planet? I'm going to start with you, Elliot. Go for it. What place are you going to find, Elliot? If anybody else wants to raise their hand, they can tell me where we should um, travel to. 33. Um, So 33 north, and 33, what? Mm. I, I can't hear you, Elliot. I think the internet connection is bad. So you'll have to work on that so I can hear you a little more clearly. How about you, Jack? Mexico. Oh, you picked one of the coolest places, Jack. Check it out. Mexico is around 30 degrees north and it's about 105 degrees west. But maybe you could find a specific place in Mexico. Okay, Allison, what about you, sweetie? Like, um, Mexico. Oh. You picked a really good one. That's 60 degrees north and about 100 degrees west. Now, everybody, we're going to do our cheer, but guess what we're going to do it with? We're going to do it with some special, special numbers. Are you ready? We're going to start with negative 180, and we're going to count by 20 degrees. Everybody do it. 180 degrees west. Go. 160 degrees west. 140 degrees west. 100 degrees west. 80 degrees west. 60 degrees west. 40 degrees west, 20 degrees west, but don't ever say zero degrees west, 
two, four, six, eight, Uno, media, appreciate, Mathletes, Mathletes, go Mathletes, guys, I will see you in 157 hours, say goodbye to your friends, Say, we're going on a trip with Mr. Kramer. Oh, we're going around the world. Uh, yeah. Have bye. fun. Bye, Isabella. Bye, everybody. Bye, Valerie. Bye, Alice. Bye, William. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Ray. Bye, Elliot. Bye, George. Bye, Joshua. Take care, guys. <laughs>